Hi there, this is Hannah, also known as Verve, and I'll be discussing how I made my third type of horn. This horn I was trying to make the Princess Celestia costume, and she has a very long horn. So I started thinking about how I'd make this horn, and I realized, you know, clay and aluminum foil would still be really heavy. I'm very sensitive to getting headaches and migraines, so I can't have a lot of weight. So my next idea was I needed to find something hollow. That way it was as light as possible. So I went over to Goodwill. Yay, Goodwill. Uh, go thrifting. And um, was able to find some Halloween decorations. Or, pardon me, Christmas decorations. They were these long, pointy, tin, golden spikes. I think they were supposed to be like minimalistic trees. But go I don't know. They were tall, golden spikes made out of tin. And I thought I would take those and make that into a horn. Uh, this is the perfect time of year to go get stuff for your cosplay because there are so many Christmas ornaments and decorations and as soon as Christmas is done all that goes on sale. So there will always be the pretty stars and the big bulbs do the plastic not the glass. Uh, and there will be the crazy golden spike things. I've seen a lot of them but I never thought of making them into a horn. So, ta-da, yay! I found one, I made it. I'll be showing you. Um, it's already attached to the wig. I'll be explaining how I did that. So, the one thing you want to do is get a spray paint that adheres to metal, a primer. It is sagging. You'll understand why. Um, and I primed the horn, hand-painted it white, added some glitter, and then used some painter's tape on it to paint the spiral down. Now the pretty pink lace actually is also with the crown. If you look at one of my other videos, I describe how I make the crown. I'll give you links to the tutorial. Link. Um, but I realized I tried the button snap method first and realized even hollow, it's just too big. Gravity pulls it, snaps it off. So I got really mad, which is generally when I do um, hill jack kind of things, and I sewed it directly to my wig, which is bad because that means I can't switch it out. But if you don't have more than one costume, it doesn't matter. So I had some dusty pink uh, lace that actually mixes uh, very well with the dusty pink color of the hair. It's not the same. This is actually a Princess Molestia. Shh. But um, it's not the same color, but it's pretty close. So what I did was I hot glued on the bottom down here uh, a bunch of lace. And then I just proceeded to sew it to the mesh part in the front of the wig. I don't know if this would work towards the back, since it's not, uh, if you ever have a wig, it's not solid in the back. It's just like the actual wefts. But it's usually pretty tightly packed where there's like mesh underneath, and it's pretty solid. So you can sew straight on. So I sewed it on, and then I put a long piece of, mesh of um, this lace on the top, and then another layer down here. What that does is that hides the sew mark. So instead of being like, Oh, look how pretty this is. The queen has lace on her horn, which I think it actually looks pretty good. Like, I can understand decorating the horn. But um, it hides the sewing marks here at the bottom. So straight on, um, you can kind of see where... You can tell I'm doing something down here, but I have lace over it, so it's not as bad a <laughs> horn. So um, you can hide that pretty well. Now... Continuing on my little hill jack thing, I decided to put the crown on that same way. Uh, the lace isn't as nice looking, but it's still lace, which means it looks pretty. It's not like bias tape. The lace adds a nice accent, and I added stitches here at the top of the horn, and then I didn't sew the rest of the way around. I didn't sew all the way down. I added stitch down here. And the reason why is because this crown would end up sitting on my head, and then you turn, and it would pop straight up. It just was not following the curve of the head correctly. So anchoring it here in the back, um, here in the back, actually allows it to sit on the head without making it too tight. So when you put on the um, wig, you're not, it's not too tight that you're ripping seams. You're just putting an anchor back here and an anchor in the front. So there's room to stretch. Um, the other thing is that if you look at all the alicorns, all of their hair has sparkles. Um, glitter is my worst fear. I really hate it. It gets on everything. It gets on everything. You keep it in a bag, you open the bag, poof, glitter everywhere. It's horrible. It's the herpes of craft items. Everywhere. 
So I had to think of a new method. One of my friends actually used um, the they're not optical illusion, the fiber, the glowy fibers that they used to take like tacky Christmas trees and they like put the glowy fibers in there. She did that and she put those in her wig and it looks really cool. But I don't have the cash for that. So what I did is I took some f more hell jack. I took some fishing line and I draped I um glued fishing line from here all the way across and I bought a little baggie of rhinestones and I double sided rhinestones over that fishing line and that drapes all the way down the wig so you have these cute little crystals that are hanging out and if you want to brush the wig you can just grab your crystal line throw it over the top of the crown and brush but I really thought that was a nice accent it's not too over the top really cheap super easy to make even if you're like crafting um, crafting disabled. You're just not very good at it. It's super easy to add. And even if you don't want to do like a pony costume, it's just, it looks nice. It's pretty accent. So, together, that's how I did my third version of the horn, was a clear tin ornament that I found and just sewed it directly to the wig. Um, now, I know it's slouching right now, but when you put it onto, um, when you put the wig itself on, because the um, because your head is solid, I hope it's solid, uh, the horn will stick straight up because it has a base. Your head is the base. With the button snap method, you actually have another type of base, and that's what the snaps are on. That was nice, but that could also give you some headaches. So the sewing method, um, use that for... I, I think it would be better for lighter. You can try it on others. Um, I actually would recommend the sewing method if you're not planning on using that horn for any other costumes because you'd have to like snip the seams and then re-sew it to the other it's kind of a pain you can do it you can totally do it it's a little bit of a pain anyways thanks for watching you have any questions comments feel free to put them in the little comments box below or message me I also take suggestions for videos thank you check out my other videos and have a good one